Okay, another guy that's been blossoming at welterweight again. I know you you know you don't pay attention to the younger guys, but I'm sure you've heard the name. What about Boo Tennis out of Philadelphia? Have you have you seen him fight? Do you what is your do you have any well, opinion one way or the other? I got criticism for my previous comments about Ennis, right? <laughs> well, I'm saying just asking I, you I to go ahead and saying I don't know who he is. And then he said, No, you know who I am. And it's like, sorry, bro. I just don't, you know. Well, now I do. Okay, now I do. I've watched Ennis, tremendous fighter. You know, I love what I see. I love his mobility, his explosiveness, and his power. Looks like a real threat up against anybody. I'm a power puncher. I know when you got dynamite, you got dynamite. You know, and it can light people up in any given round. You know, his opposition is moving up little by little. I believe that he's going to continue to be on this road to victory, growing his name similar to Ortiz. And, and that's why we're talking about these young men today. I, what I like is his fight style overall. I haven't seen a lot. I've seen enough that I need to see that says this boy has something. The way he moves, the way he throws is that awkwardness. Reminds me a little bit of myself but reminds me of a mixture of a Keith Thurman, a Floyd Mayweather, little Pinnell Whitaker, because he likes to be crafty. He likes to be slick, yet he likes to be explosive. It's in the explosiveness that it reminds me of myself. It's in a little bit of the awkwardness that he reminds me of myself. But the way he turns with the shoulder roll, the way he shoulder roll and throws the uppercut reminds me a little bit more of Floyd and Pinnell Whitaker. So... Tremendous talent. I love what I'm seeing thus far. When he picks up the competition and he's really tested throughout the ranks, if he continues to dominate something that I did coming up, something that Errol Spence did coming up, you know, you're going to feel like you're avoided. Stay on the path of victory because eventually the creme of the creme rise to the top and everybody will have to acknowledge who you are. So he seems like one of those next fighters that is a must acknowledge kind of fighter. And, you know, I just look forward to seeing what happens. But my eyes are set on February 5th, and my eyes are set on retaining those belts back in my position. He is not a current belt holder. And so my he's not on my hit list, as they would say. He can be on my get list in the future when I've accomplished what I want to accomplish and I really solidify myself as the number one welterweight in the welterweight division. Let's talk about one of those champions, Terrence Crawford. Right now, the way that yeah. I'm seeing schedule-wise, 